And good evening, football fans, and welcome to McNamara Stadium in Todd Field as we get into week number four of the 2022 Minnesota High School football season featuring the Hastings Raiders and the St. Thomas Academy Cadets. I think there's not so many games and one and two. We'll start things off with the kick. It's high end over end, left to right. Raiders will grab it on the return. Come back up the middle. Johnny Bezicek has room, and there he goes to 40 to midfield, and he's taken down there, but a great opening kickoff return. Ashman will keep our tabs on him, and big brother Chase played hockey as well. Here's Milner back out of the pocket. He'll escape, he'll find room. Oh, he got clobbered from the far side there on the tackle for St. Thomas. No exception, and a very good team. Out of the gun, Milner, quick three-step drop. He'll pass, that one's tipped. Rico Cooper had a chance not once but twice and he didn't see the tip coming back up almost into his hands this time they're going to go off to the uh, offset eye left side back to pass sims off his back foot will throw it up he's got a man wide open it's caught caught for a first down out to midfield and then some maybe out around the 46 just does eye formation two receivers twins to the left side handoff up the middle uh oh up the middle he goes and he's off to the races right side at a bio again thrown out of bounds the 15 yard line and a big first down there for the cadets and as they, from third and seven, pull up now into the red zone, first to center, gets way down to that squat. There is Sims again, looking to pass, thought about over the middle, no, flushed and taken down and sacked. Sacked on the play by Clemens, and that'll be a loss of a couple in a big play defensively, knocking him out of the red zone. Hastings, a big D play here in the red zone. Center right hash. He'll work two to the right side this time. Single back is going to be at a bio. Back to pass. It's going to be caught by the tight end over the middle, down to the five yard line, and that grab made there by Jordan Wold. Make a name for himself as a safety this year. Adebayo was trapped in the backfield, gets outside, and finds enough room to get in for the score. Love Adebayo gets in from a couple of yards out, and we have a 6 nothing St. Thomas Academy lead. Bez in the slot right as they go right to left. Now the pass is going to go to Bezdecek, makes the catch 45-50 across midfield, down near the 40-yard line. Big catch by Johnny Bezdecek, and we just talked about it. Johnny Teglin recently celebrating a birthday, snaps the ball, giving it off to Burrow, and he rumbles ahead. That's what we like to see out of 32. So the fans here, what number six can do here, hopefully right here on this pass, pass right side, that's gonna be caught. Caught there by Johnny Bezdecek, and he toes a man by the jersey. A single back, one receiver, short side right, back to pass, two receivers there, into the corner of the end zone where nobody was. Again, we know that out of the eye formation will be the cadets in the backfield. Hart, I believe, and he does have the football left side enough for a first down and maybe a little bit more. The quarterback, and they're going to go on an end around to the left side, and this will be a gain of about seven. This is a wacky looking pistol this time with two back stacked left pass, throw left, caught, and for a first down. Another receiver. They'll stack an offset eye with the fullback as a tight end right. And they'll run to the right side. And here comes Adebayo to the five, and he's in again for Adebayo from 23. And look at the balance from Adebayo. Look at how he turns on his hips. I mean, he looks like a speed skater getting, right. that, getting low to the ice. And they were not generous with that spot no, either. No, no. Back to pass, Milner, over the middle, he has a man caught, oh, Whoa. he hit! Well, it was relatively smooth sailing on the pass, the catch, but oh. then the hit, wow, you don't even see hits like that. Especially 14 nothing. your score. Milner fakes the hand off the burrow, rolls strong side, near side right. This is caught by Rico Cooper at the 48 yard line in front of the Raider coaches. And out of the gun is Milner. He has a tight end out there as well. And now, nope, handing it off. It's gonna be, oh, losing his footing in the backfield, unfortunately, for the Raiders. New quarterback in the game, that is Noah Erickson, the senior. He throws a dart right side. Caught there, oh boy. And a big punishing stiff arm, call it a forearm shiver. Burrow just came into the locker room and then ran back out. He grabbed a pair of gloves, something to watch here. Nice play, Raiders in the backfield, Austin LaFlay. Hello Frankenstein, comes up, makes a big stop for the Raiders. And that'll bring up 
a huge shot over the middle, and half the time you're going to be in front of the D-backs anyway. By the time Bass gets there, throws up a deep ball left off the hands of Johnny Bez. Owen, you called it beautifully. Kind of the five-man look for the Raiders. And back to pass here on second down. Pass is going to be caught in front of the St. Thomas bench. Gun Sims with Adebayo in the backfield to pass. He looks to run, pulls it down. There he goes right side, looking for the first down. He's going to be very close, and I think he got it. We're glad you're still with us. Owen Ely, Nick Tufter, we're here at McNamara Stadium at Todd Field. Back to pass. This one's caught by Lauber. 25-20, just chugging along to the 15. He'll be cut down about three yards short of the first down. Sims, one back at a bio, and he gets it. Left side, looking for room. Comes across the 10 to the 5, down near the goal line. He's short by a yard. This is where Lauber might get a carry. Nope, they will go to Adebayo for his third touchdown. This one of one yard, and it's 20 to nothing. St. Thomas Academy with one. And again, just when you're from a yard out, you give it to number one, and you know what he's going to do with it. Out of the gun, Milner. We might have jumped a little early. Nope, Milner pulls it down. There he goes. Right side, 40, 45 near midfield, taken down at 47. Danny Milner, quarterback draw. Show under center. And a pitch out. And he'll get a first down, I believe. Out of the shotgun, Milner. Two receivers to each side. He'll go left. He'll put it up deep. And he has it picked off. Intercepted on the play by the cadets. Jake Borman up the right side. Need to tackle him, fellas. Can't let him go. He gets into open field. No, and he gets tackled from behind. Nothing Nine. here for the road team. Saw Danny chuck up that one late, but a nice, great play in the defensive backfield. Teams and Jim have written no squads. Flipper Anderson back to pass here. Sims, he'll put it up. He's got a man. And boy, another great catch. And another great catch there. Win the second half of the lead. Back to pass Sims. As soon as I say that, it's a Whoa. interception that's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Well, here's another look at the uh, interception. And Wow. They're third and eight officially. Ball at the 12. Hastings zone. Oh, here comes a blitz from the outside, and I think Milner kind of felt it too. Now well, Raiders are off sides. I think Pepper jumped. Handoff goes to Hart, and he will gain about eight. You know, one yard loss. I mean, you're in great position next down. Under center, Erickson. Back to pass, flushed out right side, being chased to the right sideline and throwing one up, and he caught it. They're gonna say a touchdown. Just re really runs around, finding a way to get open. And then watch the ball. See, it came out. That, that is 100% not a touchdown. That is out of the shotgun. This is week four, folks. Yes, this is week four. Milner has a man at the slot. Johnny Bess, 50 midfield, 40, 35, track speed. There he goes. Gold medal. Touchdown Raiders. Johnny Bezdecek with that Olympic speed, and he runs it the distance. Great pass. And the rest, as they say, was history. The track star speed kicked in, and that was, as we said, a gold medal performance. Johnny Bezdecek. <laughs> we'll see if we can get some more for him. There he is! Onside kick, but right into the hands of one of their studs up front at midfield Raider coaching staff and the boys they, they had the right idea no doubt I'm, I probably gave it a shot and now here's a effort for midfield it's going to give at a bio room 30 25 carries a man Creed Peterson nearly stripped that thing out of there against this cadet team handoff goes to Hardy fumbles fumbled football and the quarterback Sims falls on top of it directly to a knee Man in motion at a bio, fake the pitch, over the middle wide open, and it's caught for the touchdown. And again, big tight end, Jordan Wold, this time he gets his first touchdown. That's exactly what happens, and Wold is in. Oh, Vandehoff has had a great wow. game, but again, that's that's a five foot seven inch. Um, here is Milner back to pass again, puts it up, and it's gonna be intercepted. Intercepted by St. Thomas Academy, and that is number four, Anthony Bickford. And the senior might have just ended the Raiders' evening here in this quarter. So now out of the 
So under center will be Erickson. New Hill handoff at a bio. Not going to go too far. Fumble! And the Raiders get it? I think they did. Hastings has the football. Cars with another touchdown. Raiders out of the pistol. They will hand off Peyton Burrow. Up the middle finds room. Gets across midfield. And he's going to be down around the 47. Handoff goes to Burrow. Breaks a tackle to the 10 5. Touchdown, Raiders. Burrow's in from 34. And slippery, maybe because of the field, but that's how Peyton Burrow. They could win out after this game. Oh, I, I think that they could go five and three, and that wouldn't be an issue at all. As Hart will take it up the left or right side this time, find room, and he even broke a tackle on his way out of bounds. It's a big gainer there. About in the last eight to ten years, <laughs> this one handed off to Lauber. Oh, the big fella up the middle carries a couple of would-be tacklers up the middle, like a two-handed shove. And, and, and again, game tackling. We've talked about it at times. Oh, throughout this game, option pitch on left side. Oh, and he breaks the tackle and goes into the end zone. The victory tonight, more than likely. On that option pitch, just got him in this space. And I think that's what they need. People are the ones that put these games on the air. So get out there, thank them, spend a little money with them, planning, uh, yep, all that stuff. Here we go, as we'll bring it back up the right side. And that's going to be best to check. He finds room, cuts back into the middle a little bit, but in that little lane closed up fast on 41 13. Back to pass, Milner on third down, puts it up left side, has a man. It's caught Johnny best to check again. No, oh, that is just a good throw, even better catch, and I love the attitude right here. Watch this. Head Physical. to head, says get off me. <laughs> I, I really love this kid. I really love watching this guy play. I love watching him run track even as the handoff here fumble. Raiders lose the ball. Uh, St. Thomas has proven it here in this particular district and section for a while, as this one now ends up going up the right side, and Hart's trying to get into open territory, and he breaks that last tackle, and he's gone. A great game. I mean, like I said, you might not like the score tonight if you're a Raider fan, but you, you all know and understand big picture stuff, and this was not as uh, what the scoreboard indicated. The Raiders played well in many facets. Thank you for joining us, fans, and we will be with you in another game coming up here. Hastings, they fall tonight, but again, we'll move on to week five. Thanks for joining us from McNamara Stadium at Todd Field. This has been Minnesota High School Football on Hastings Community Television.